Hey guys, welcome to a new tutorial from the power of Excel. In this episode I will show you how you can create a suggestion box that is binded with a text box. So for example I have here the project already created in order for you to see our what will be our final result. For example if I'm pressing in this text box A, we, have, we see here a suggestion list with all the names starting with A. If I'm pressing D let's say you see the one with the D and uh, let's say J J A and you see you know how it's uh, a suggestion list should work okay so in order to do this we will open uh, an Excel file where we have the list of the stu uh, students the students then uh, we're opening visual uh, basic we will add a user form uh, a user form uh, with a nice background because we will want also the visuals to be okay and we will start adding controls first the label and select student and to be visible we will make the four color white then we will add um, a text box and bind it to this text box it will be a list box <coughs> a list box which will have the color yellow good so uh, we want this list box to be visible to be for uh, visible false because we want to show it only when we're starting to type something in the text box so when this will lose the focus or, or the background will uh, receive a click the list box should be false also list box one that visible equals false okay now uh, in order to start writing the code for um, the text box typing uh, we will uh, use the uh, text box one change event so when the text box uh, will uh, have its value changed the items will be added in our suggestion box the items from our database so if you will write one letter uh, all the values from here will be checked for the first letter if we will have two letters in the text box the first two letters from the our database will be checked in order to do this we will do like this We'll define an integer. Then we want to make sure that the list box is clear. Then, of course, we want to show it because it's hidden in this moment. List box one that visible. It's true okay now in order to loop through the database to see what is matching to our letters added in the text box we will create a for for i equal to two because we're starting from the row two okay and to the maximum number of row i already show you the formula in uh, some other videos it is like this range a 1000 let's say that end pixel up that row next i now in order to check if the value from the text box is something uh, that is matching with our database we'll add an if so if left from our database with the length of our text box because maybe we put only <coughs> two letters in the text box so we want to check only the first two letters from our database equals to text box text then we need we want the items added 